Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and we're getting ready to do your reading, your general reading for the month of July. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for Sagittarius. Thanks for stopping by. Hope everyone's doing well. We have Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see. Bobcats. Moving fast, I think. Let's see. What else do we have for your overall energy? Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. So you're making some major changes right now. And you're really doing it with, um, you're really following your intuition. You're feeling like you're in this beautiful energy of coming through a tremendous metamorphosis in your life. Very beautiful energy. It's like you're just trusting spirit to guide you, which is brilliant. Okay, let's get one more card here for Sagittarius. Spirit, please give us the clear and best messages, highest messages for the good of Sag. Parrot spirit, watch your words. Okay, so you're in a tricky period of time right now in which there's a lot of dramatic change. And there's a lot that you don't know behind the scenes. So just watch what you say. Play it safe. Be conservative right now, Sag. Okay. So we're going to do a 10-card Celtic spread, and I will clarify the cards and see what's happening for you, Sag. Let's see what the energy is. First card down. The current situation is 10 of Pentacles. Good. You're working on your money. You're working on your stability. You look, for the most part, like you've achieved it. Nice energy. The chariot card means that you're moving ahead at a slow and steady pace. The chariot card is you have, you know, you want that security. It's all about the emperor driving towards the stars and the starry night. The two of cups. What brings you to the reading is a question about love, something, a love relationship, somebody with whom you're very close to. It looks like it's a traditional love relationship, although it can always be a friend or somebody very close to you. Five of Wands says that there's been some ego-driven conflict in the past for you. It looks as though you've had options. Somebody may have been, you may have been keeping your options open. Um, so especially if you're dealing with business and money, you may, you may be looking at different investments. The Knight of Pentacles slowly moving forward, but very powerfully so. That is, um, so we have Virgo energy, Taurus energy, we have Cancerian energy, Cancer energy, and Leo energy. Let's see what else we have here. So, let's see what the near future oops, is bringing for you. Wow. Wow, Sagittarius, you are... You are really manifesting at this period, at this point in time. I also get that for many of you, you're allowing the mystery of life uh, to help you manifest intuitively just using, using your instincts, being very instinctive, being very strategic, but, but more in a very instinctive way, not intellectual. You're sort of feeling your way through the dark, so to speak. For some of you, you know, you want to manifest love and a baby and marriage. And for some of you, you are certainly moving in that direction. All right. We have five of coins. So you're feeling very left in the cold or very out in the cold. The five of coins is a spiritual card more than it's a card of reality. The five of coins is that um, it's like there's snow all around you. You have everything you need. There's lights right behind you. So there's help available. But it's like you don't see it. You have sort of the keys to get out of this cage. It's, there's a little bit of self-imposed restriction here. It is Aquarius energy. It's In some ways, you may feel like the timing needs to wait before you look at something. In the circumstances around you, we have the Page of Wands. So it does look like you're, you're, you're studying some situation related to an action that you would like to take. We have the Ace of Cups. This, this is your hopes and dreams, is the Ace of Cups, so that's lovely. Let's see what your outcome is, Sagittarius. Before we clarify, let's see what this is. The King of Wands. Okay, so you are being very masterful right now. You are definitely, definitely using a lot of 
intuitive knowledge to transform. I feel your money, your security. It looks like you're rebirthing in a way uh, your home, your security, everything you love. For those of you who are married or planning on getting married, it looks as though you are very money conscious. Um, we see you spending a lot of time uh, studying situations, you know, in a way to have what you want and to do it in um, a very smart way. But I do feel as though some of you have taken a big hit financially and it looks like you're getting back on the path to finding your security again. So you're going to have some mysterious good luck too. And with this, look at what could be more mysterious than this. We have the bobcat spirit. And what's more mysterious than giving birth to a human baby, right? So there is a magic that's, that I see taking place for you, Sagittarius. Very magical energy. And it's being very well supported by your emotional tenacity. So let's see what we have here for the clarifiers. Let's see. We're going to use the Goliath deck. Okay. So let's see. Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Sag? Okay. So let's see. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. Oops. What's that say? Okay. Page of Pentacles. Butterfly. Okay. So butterfly vision. So again, we're getting this element. Okay. So the thing that I see for some of you is I see some of you who are getting ready to get married, to have babies, to have children. So you're in a different, you're trying to have, you know, like buying a house, securing um, your money, saving money, coming back from a difficult time. But when I get the page of pentacles and it's clarifying the ten of pentacles, what I see for many of you is like planning for the future, uh, education of a child. Pages are often children. It's also messages. But what I see is a very transformative time when you're in the process of securing your foundation. And it looks especially for marriage and children. So beautiful energy. Uh, for those of you who are not having a baby, you could be birthing a creative project. If you're, you know, an actor, a writer, uh, someone who is trying to birth an idea for business. I see this as the same reading energy, is that you're building a foundation in your business. You know, it could be like, well, I'm going to hire people of a certain age because they're going to help my product. You know, when you look at some of the clothing companies and that sort of thing. So I get this, you know, if it's tech, it looks like you would be very influenced by a lot of younger people. The Eight of Wands is clarifying, moving fast, very quickly. Sag, this is you. This is your energy. And so what we're seeing here, Sag, is the energy that you are moving forward steadily, rapidly, and steadily. Okay? So it does show that you have a big burst of energy, but you're being very controlled in the way you move forward because this is a snail for a chariot, okay? So it's very dynamic, but you're keeping control of that chariot. You're, you're holding back, you know, you're watching your words, you're watching your actions. So it's, it really shows that you're going to be very successful. For many of you, this could be a new venture. It could be a new adventure. <laughs> for some of you, you may be getting a job or a new job with an airline. With the Eight of Wands, you know, that can indicate air travel. Okay, so for the Two of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so it does look as though there has been some sort of burden around partnership. Let's look and see what else we have. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it looks like a partner has probably lost a job, but look at this magician energy. Is that not the most amazing magician you've ever seen? The Alchemist Master. So what we're seeing here is that although you've had this Five of Coins, you know, this, this energy with the Five of Wands, Five of Coins, we see that you are letting go of the burdens, and you have the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny is looking out for you. Life is a mystery. And you manifest, you're manifesting something slowly that you do not yet see. All right. So again, I feel that for those of you 
this is so interesting, number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, number eight. So we see the number eight, Virgo energy, Virgo energy. You are winning this um, plan. I mean, your plan has been, is being beautifully executed. You're very positive for the most part. You have worries, you have fears, but you're taking your time to really do a lot of research and you're doing things with great care. Again, manifestation, 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 manifestation. My gosh, the Wheel of Fortune, that's you, Sag. You know, your Jupiter is showing up to give you a, a helpful hand there. And of course, I have dropped cards. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So the Ace of Pentacles is clarifying this beautiful, beautiful Empress card. So that means that you are manifesting and birthing something abundant and beautiful. Again, it can be business. It can be, and your ships are coming in. So it shows that you will be duly rewarded for this um, effort that you're making. It looks as though for one of you it's been going on for a long time. A partner may have gotten sidetracked with, you know, some sort of maybe loss of a job or a layoff or something. Um, but I'm getting that both of you are pulling it together. Um, and I get the Hermit card. Oh my gosh. The Hermit card is clarifying the Five of Coins. So it does look like, again, I feel like this partnership is struggling with this. Um, you, somebody got kind of a raw deal is what it looks like. And it does look like it's it could be you, it could be your partner. Most likely it's you, Sagittarius, because we get Capricorn energy. That's a career. The Hermit card says that you could basically have been left in the cold. What I'm seeing here is that for many of you, there would have been like, well, we're going to close the office, we're going to close the division, and that, you know, not everybody made it out. The Five of Wands means that some people made it out, you know, they, they were able to transcend and go to a different place. But I think, Sag, for you, you're in this energy of being shocked. However, it is a blessing because life is a mystery and you have this beautiful butterfly energy. The energy is amazing. It's, it's wonderful energy. And it really speaks to having what you want in a bigger way, perhaps sooner than you thought you would receive it. Why is the Page of Wands here? Three of Wands, there we go. Your ships have arrived in the harbor. It does look like for those of you, and it does look like many of you are in a partnership, and it looks like your partner is being very inquisitive, very supportive, and yet staying out of your way. But they are lending, you know, a lot of support. They have the bills covered, so to speak, for, you know, the near future. What we get here is the Two of Swords is clarifying the Ace of Cups. Right now, you're you're allowing love to take a back seat. It's, um, you know, you're enjoying moments of it, but right now your focus is on, you know, what am I going to do with this King of Wands energy? It is a feminine King of Wands. So it speaks to the fact that you are making a public appearance. For many of you, you will be an idea person. The energy of the King of Wands is all about presenting ideas. It's sort of like when we say, oh, that person could sell ice cubes to people who live in Alaska. You know, we're getting Six of Cups energy, beautiful energy. What I'm seeing for most of you is just having this beautiful plan. You had a setback, it looks like, recently. But you have a beautiful plan for manifesting a family life, an abundant marriage, uh, you know, moving ahead. You do feel very uh, tormented a bit here. I'm getting some torment here. Let's see what the Sacred Destiny Oracles has to say for you. Sagittarius, great energy. Beautiful energy. So tell us about this Five of Coins. What is this about for our Sagittarius? Pleasure. Okay, so it does look like somebody wants to spend money. You may have allowed yourself to overspend on something and you may have a regret about a purchase that you made uh, because money is tight now. It was unexpected. I'm also getting release, release, you know, letting something go. You know, what I'm seeing here is let go of remorse and regret because it's not helping you move forward. 
it's really, you know, just find your inner peace. And that's what it says you're going to do. You know, you can't cry over spilt milk. And it looks like everything's going to be very fine. I would say that that devil energy for you, Sagittarius, that Capricorn energy, is something that, you know, you take seriously. But what I'm seeing is that you're very, very... You duly noted, lesson learned, and it looks like you flow right through this reading into this abundance and the stability and wealth building foundation that you've laid. All right, Sag, hope that helped. Take care. Bye bye.